Alright guys, so today I'm going to give my prediction for week 6 team of the week, which of course comes out tomorrow. Make sure you give me your predictions down below on which players you think are going to get new cards. Now my first starting, well my starting off my first predictions here, we have the limited time cards. Now these are 290 overalls, one offense, one defense. Now my first limited time card, I think, to be honest, he deserves a card. He hasn't gotten a card Honestly, I don't think at all this year. And he had a phenomenal freaking week. Who else but 80 overall, now to 90, Jared Goff. I mean, come on now. Like, I'm not even a Lions fan, I'm a Bengals fan, and I, I can still say Jared Goff deserves a new card. Like, this guy, I don't know why I said it like that, because, like, they're not a rival in any way. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not even a Lions fan or, like, a Lions truther, as they would call him. Like, they need a new card. He needs a new card. He deserves one after how he played this week, 1,000%. Now, for the defense of limited time, I put Javion Clowney. He did have a good week. He had two sacks. But I also feel like he could sell packs. And, you know, people get excited whenever he gets a new card. Because, you know, he has great speed. He has great block shed. He's all around a great player. So, I feel like he would sell packs. And, again, EA Sports, you know... They're in the business to sell packs. They're not in the business to give us cards that aren't going to sell packs. And Jared Goff might not as much sell packs. But I think a lot of people want his card because, again, you know, he hasn't got a card this year. And then Clowney, people are going to want that card. I mean, let's be honest. 90 overall, yeah. They're going to want that Clowney. So for the champion players this week, I have Amonra St. Brown, who currently has an 84 overall base elite. And he played absolutely out of his mind yeah there's a reason why jared goff also played amazing and a lot of the reasons why was because of his wide receiver wide receiver i'll say wide receiver wide receiver amon saint brown i mean there's no reason why this man does not deserve a card now keep in mind if someone does not get a card this week they could have a card planned for most fear part two coming out on thursday so that might be why or obviously other promos down the line but, of course, that's the offensive hero. The defensive hero, I am very biased and I do not care. But tell me why Cam Taylor Brett should not receive this card. I mean, I don't care what anyone has to say, actually. So you'll have to tell me. Listen, this man, this absolutely gem of a man here, won us that game versus Seattle. He got an interception late in the game that got us in the field goal range and we were able to actually kick the field goal and win that game in the end because our defense really just stood tall the whole entire rest of the game. And for most of the game, he shut down DK Metcalf. Like, no, he deserves that card. That man had the most crucial interception probably of the whole entire game. I honestly crucial interception for a lot of teams in the NFL yesterday. And again, like I said, he played great all day long. Please, 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 EA, Cam Taylor Britt, 90 overall. And is that because I'm biased? Absolutely. Because let's be honest, 87 overall is Raheem Mozart. Two touchdowns, over 100 yards rushing. This man is going to be the fastest running back in the game. He's about to be one of the best, best, best running backs in the game. And EA is about to give us the insaneness of him. So I cannot wait for his card to come out. Next card we have here is Martin Emerson Jr. Listen, the Browns beat the 49ers. I know I'm so shocked myself. I still can't believe that actually happened. I don't know how it happened. I, 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 I don't know. I can't even fathom it. Like, the 49ers was one team that I honestly thought could go undefeated. Like, with how good they are in defense, they have obviously Christian McCaffrey. They have Debo Samuel on offense. I was like, this team, there's no one who's going to beat them, right? Maybe down the line, they play the Eagles. That's a tough matchup. But for the most part, unless they lose to the Eagles, no one else is really going to beat this team. And then somehow, some way, yeah, the Browns do it. And now everyone's like, oh, the 49ers aren't even that good of a team anymore. Like, there's so much hate toward the 49ers now. It's absolutely insane. The amount of people I saw on Twitter be like, well, they lost it, huh? If they lost to the Browns, clearly they're, you know, they were frauds. And then I realized that all the people saying that are Vikings and Giants fans who last year were saying they're the best teams in the NFL and then they lost in the playoffs. No, on the real note, though, um, yeah, it's weird. 
It's weird. 49ers would be fine, but the Browns won, so Martin Emerson Jr., I give him a card here. At what point are we going to give Kyron Williams a card? I mean, he did get a 79 overall team in a week card, but this guy is doing it every single week. Him and, and uh, Puka are just absolutely the next level rookies in the NFL. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good rookies in the NFL, but Puka and Kyron Williams, both on the same team, ironically enough, they're having they're having a fantastic rookie seasons. Even with Cooper Cup back, Kyron Williams still went off last week and had a great day. I didn't check. Hold up. Did the Rams Rams won, right? Yeah, they beat the Cardinals. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Okay. I was kind of scared for a second because I thought they might not have beat the Cardinals. But, yeah, no, they destroyed the Cardinals. So, 100% he could get a card here. Thought for a second, I'm like, let me, let me make sure. Next guy we have here is Justin. Obviously, Ravens, again, they just not, uh, kind of didn't destroy the Titans. They played a very ugly game against the Titans. But they won. They beat the Titans, but they played an ugly game. So, it is what it is. <laughs> 80 to 83 overall right here for Justin. And then our next guy we have here is Kylan Granson. Um, he had a good game. I, there's not much to say about it. He's a tight end. He's getting a plus 7. When you get when you, Once you get to these lower overalls, like the 83s and 81s, it gets to a point then where you, you can't even like give it to a really good player because obviously they don't have a base elite or they only have a card in the game that's better. So it's like you kind of just have to go down the list there and be like, um, okay, so this guy who had a pretty good day, but pretty much nobody knows his name, that's the guy who deserves the 83 and 81s, you know? Because unless they, you know, a big known player doesn't have a really good card, but... If they're a big known player, they're going to either have a good card or they're going to get a good card because people want to use that card, right? So, yeah. And then our last guy, Jordan Hicks for the Minnesota Vikings. He had another player who had a really good day yesterday. So, that's kind of what I'm looking at, guys. So, again, Jared Goff, Javion Clowney, Amama St. Brown, Cam Taylor Britt, Raheem Mozart, Martin Emerson Jr., Kyron Williams, Justin, um... Kindling Granson and Jordan Hicks. Tell me down below your thoughts, opinions, and which team of the week cards would you predict if you had to give your predictions? Because I don't know. I don't know. I, I know there's gonna be a Jared Goff card. If I get Jared Goff and Raheem Moser correct this week, I'll be happy. I might also get Amon St. Brown correct. But other than that, Kyron Williams deserves a card, but I don't know if they're gonna give it to him. And the other ones are shot in the dark. See you guys next one. Peace out.